Hello everyone, and I'm going to be doing a like birthday reading every day. So if today's your birthday, happy birthday. And I just wanted to run off some traits about the day you were born, not the year, this is just for the date, and um, pull some cards, like a little solar mini foundation of the year, you know, because if you do want a comprehensive um like solar return um or birthday astrology chart so on that of course would be a private reading and and a lot more details this is just the bit what the cards say the basic foundation of this solar year ahead for anyone born today on august 4th so what the people born on august 4th they are hard working they are determined to achieve something very important in life. They're totally dedicated to their plans for success and nothing can even stop them from gaining, um, to, to focus on their objectives. But on the other side, they, um, they have a playful side and seem very relaxed. And some people don't even understand that intense dedication that they have for um, their future dreams for the future. Um, you are gifted with patience. It's, it's it's enough to realize that there is no need to like rush um because you eventually reach your goals now what makes you different from the other leos is you are a deep planner and you strategize strategize most of your like important moves and in, in um uh far in advance and once you do decide um exactly what you need to do you go out and you usually do it you are so blessed with like tremendous self-confidence and consistent faith in your own like destiny um even though wealth and status is very important you also like need to be center uh center of attention uh center on stage you need to shine um let's see people that i'm born today usually thrive really well in the limelight i mean they just love being admiring uh, admired now whether you are in sports arts um any kind of business profession you do want to see like real you know tangible results from all your efforts in relationships you are loyal passionate and generous but you can also have a possessive and dominating side uh, your ego does require a lot of stroking, and it takes a great deal of pampering and attention and constantly being reassured of um, love and affection from your significant partner to keep you happy. Also, this is a vibrational number for your birthday is the number four, which denotes stability, hard work, goals, determination, usually good saving with money, and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get onto the cards. I already pre shuffled them. These are astrological cards, and I'm going to pull a tarot card too to see um, the underlying theme too for like so you're ahead. And let's get to that. So, the first one usually it's going to show me up. Um, this deck is showing me the astrological signs and then the <clears throat> significant planets in that in your house. So, the first card is Leo. And that's you. That is wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, Leo, it's telling me that during the solar year, um, the focus will be on your first house. That is your first house. Also, uh, what's a first house is the impression you make on others, your ego. Also, a Leo, another Leo can be very significant in your life. And it's also dealings. You rule the, the fifth house. So dealings with children um taking risks uh fun adventures gambling watch it but you know how that goes so you're dealing here with like the first and the fifth house and the focus almost it is looking like it's you for the whole entire year so this is really good here then we have let's see what planet comes up jupiter wow jupiter love jupiter don't we all planet of expansion that's a beautiful card too well Jupiter, what this message here is saying to you is, I would say towards basically the end of this year, focus more on um, not missing like the big picture by 
obsessing over details. Um, it's also saying that self-worth and that you could, uh, your self-worth has either expanded or um, there are still insecurities that you do have to deal with because Jupiter is a benefic planet. So yes, it expands whatever it is. So if you have problems, those problems are going to expand too. Um, it, anything good is going to expand too. So, you know, it goes both ways. People don't understand that, but that's what um, I'm seeing. Then it's going to be affecting basically, um, well, we would say your second house. Um, the other feeling I'm getting is it will kind of, um, the theme throughout the year to your solar year again will be dealings with lots of communication projects, uh, community. You could be writing books. Um, your talking skills could improve. I would not overdo in parting because, you know, we, uh, there's a tendency to gain weight in that area too. So you're dealing with kind of third house themes here too. So basically what I'm seeing is your first, fifth, ninth house, second house, and third house are accented this year too. Because, um, hmm. yep, that's what I'm seeing here. So let's pull a card too that I pre shuffled. We have like, it's the page of swords. Well, the page of swords is saying that the underlying theme of the year kind of is you probably putting some work into the Jupiter theme here. You personally, you could be starting um, writing, learning a lot more things too. Jupiter also loves to learn. We're also dealing with um, religious beliefs. Um, there could be changes. You could be getting more spiritual. You could be doing the law of attraction. But the Page of Swords is also saying, don't be your own worst enemy. You sh um, you could le you listen to people's others advice without being upset about it. Um, great. This is great also for artists, manufacturers, designers. It's starting off something new, great ideas coming in. Um, this is confident intelligence in it too. So that's like your underlining theme of the year. And I want to pull one more card just to see how your day is going for your birthday today. So let's see what cards say. Knight of Rods. Okay. Knight of Rods. That's great. That's saying that um, it's a confident energy today for you. You may be feeling sexy, seductive, attractive. Um, also, some new people could be coming coming in. They're full of energy. Vibrate. You could be partying it up today. I mean, it is your birthday. So this kind of does work really well, the card with them, today's theme. Um, also, it could be there could be an impatient energy today. Um, be careful with your temperament. Young, you could be a little bit more temperamental and over passionate, over enthusiastic. Um, and there's a feeling I'm saying you could under understand others' underlining motives. It's like a deep little sense there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, if you wanted a full um, birthday reading, solar uh, uh, solar yearly roll a solar return. Uh, I can't even talk this morning. Solar return chart kind of, um, it, you know, it, it goes into a lot of details that of course would be private, but this is just like kind of the underlining foundation and theme, what the cards showed for anyone born today, August 4th. Anyway, if you did like, um, if you did like this, please like share and subscribe and I'll be doing one of these every day and happy birthday to people born today on August 4th. Have a great day. Bye.